happy day 10 of 30 days kindness challenge oh my goodness 10 days we are a third way through this challenge we have completed 10 days like it's amazing i feel like we just started yesterday this has been such a beautiful journey such a beautiful process this has really um tapped into things that have been dormant and i hope that in the first 10 days you have been able to truly identify anything that has been blocking you from being kinder and how important it is to be very intentional about being kinder to yourself in the five pillars to others and um walking in the fullness of like we're on our way to walking into the fullness of what it truly means to be kind kindness what does kindness truly means mean yesterday's assignment was to write affirmations and it was to prepare our mind and to help us understand that we need to be the ones to declare over ourselves over our lives who we are what we need and what are we entitled to right i shared some declarations and when i first started making declarations they were just like i am kind i am loving i am peaceful i am serene i am patient i am beautiful i am what else um compassionate and as I started to truly understand and define each word, that's where I was able to go from I am kind, I am patient to write out declarations that were going to be more intentional and shift my atmosphere, my environment, my mindset. But it started here. So I was reading them. I was saying them before I was actually living in it because that's how it works. It starts in our mind. What we think is what happens, right? Because what we think is what we say. And what we say is what we release into the atmosphere. And that is what defines our environment. So when people say that our words have so much weight, they really do. Our words shape our world. What we are living in right now today is a product of the words we spoke or other people have spoken over us. So this is why I am just so passionate about this kindness challenge because our first assignment is to be kinder to ourselves. Our first assignment is to have kinder thoughts in regards to ourselves so we make wiser decisions and to identify what is stopping me from being kinder to myself in my finances, what is stopping me from being kinder to myself in my relationships, what is stopping me from being kinder to myself in my health, my body, what is stopping me from being kinder in my thoughts. What is helping me? What is stopping me? Sorry. What is stopping me from being kinder in these five pillars? Why am I avoiding things I know I should be doing to be kinder to myself? One of the things or challenges that I struggled with was um, I lived my whole life in a reactive mode. And this has taken me years this is a work in progress to truly live in a peace from a, a serene, um, in a serene space, in a peaceful place, in a calm place that does not allow me to immediately go to anxiety, go to being fearful, go to confusion, go to feeling defeated, regretful. Right. And it wasn't until I became intentional and I truly understood what it means to be reactive and proactive. And how do how do I get there? I want to be proactive. If I know that I if I don't have the groceries that I need by Sunday to be able to cook dinner Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Then I'm setting myself up 
for panic because then Monday I'm going to have to go to the store. Then Tuesday I was going to the store again. And this is true life. Like this is how I lived, right? I would go to the store Monday. I would go to the store Tuesday. I would go to the store Thursday. I would go to the store every day I needed something. There would be days where I would get out of work and I didn't even know what I was going to cook. And it would be so frustrating because I I kept this, this cycle was just so repeated and repeated and repeated until I'm like, I'm, I'm done. I'm fed up. What do I need to do to be kinder to myself? Because one, I was wasting time. Time was being wasted. Everything that needed to be purchased should have been purchased Sunday or whichever day it was that I went to buy groceries. If I had to go every day or three times a week to the store on the way home, it was at least 15 extra minutes. Add that up, that's what, 45 minutes to an hour, if not more. And time is so precious. Like after work, I should not be having to go to the store and buy anything. I should be able to come home and have everything ready to cook my dinner. What was stopping me? The mindset that I had. That I just, it was a laziness that was masked, right? In, I can't do that, or I'm not good at that. Or, I never learned how to do that. It was masked by excuses. But it wasn't until I got sick and tired of being sick and tired that I sat down and said, okay, what am I cooking this week? What do I need for our breakfast? What do I need for our lunch? What do I need for our dinner? Because I cannot keep doing this. I cannot keep living in this cycle. I cannot keep going to the store every other day or every day sometimes. Or I would even the lazier way out, I would just go and buy food done. I'm sharing all this. This is a very transparent moment for me and vulnerable moment, but I want you to understand this is why I'm so passionate about this kindness challenge because that not only was time, my time, our precious time being wasted, but it was causing conflict in my marriage. It was causing conflict in my family. My children were tired. They did not want to go to the store. It was such a struggle to get them out of the car, go in the store. I want this. I want that. Some days there was tantrums. And then to get back in the car. And then to get them off again at home. Like, this is reality. This is what I was living in. And then to get home and my husband's like, where's this? Why isn't this? We're missing this. We don't have this. And it was just like, oh my goodness, I can't do nothing right. Like, that was the immediate thoughts until I said no. This is not my reality. I am not accepting this. I am calm. I am peace. And I'm going to set myself up for success. But knowing that it has to be very consistent and intentional. Because then I started doing it, oh, one day or two days or three days, right? Making sure I had everything for one day or two days or three days. It wasn't until I sat down. This is why I'm so passionate about good old notebooks. Depends. I would sit down and just write it out. What am I cooking this week? At least to know and have an idea. And then I would go and buy everything I needed. Now I'm giving you my example of meals, right? Because it, that also led to us not being kind to our health. And it wasn't just me. It was affecting. It was affecting my whole family because we were all eating if I would buy takeout, which I probably did about three times a week. And it wasn't until... I got sick and tired, but my family got sick and tired. That it it became such a big issue. It became such a big challenge. And it's like as the more that it grew, the more that I was sinking in. But it's like I knew there was better. I knew that. So how did I break that? How did I break that mindset? How did I break that cycle? First of all, I had to be very um, reflective and honest. Like the only person who's going to be able to shift this and change this and transform this way of living is me. Because I needed to have everything down and and making sure that I went and bought everything the first time I went to the store. Right? But because I was living in anxiety, panic mode, 
I would just go. And I would let the store decide what I'm buying. I'm buying this. I'm buying that. I'm buying this. But what was I going to do with everything that I bought? Like there was no plan. All right. And sometimes we go in life doing the same thing. We will like looking at our finances. We'll walk into Target. Like everyone, it's a meme. It's so cute. Let uh, You walk into Target. Like I see it everywhere. I walked into Target for diapers and I walked out with $400 worth of stuff. Like that's not funny. <laughs> it's it's. It unless you have the budget for that, then it's okay. But when we're trying to truly establish these foundations, and I mean, I don't see the majority of the world living in a place of wealth where every time I need diapers or if I need to get milk, I walk out of Target with a hundred dollars worth of stuff. Right? So it's about being intentional, being proactive. So having a a list of things that you need when you walk into Target or to any store, right? I'm just saying Target because it's, but any store, don't let the store tell you what you need. Sometimes we live in that. That is part of people pleasing. We want to see people's reactions. We want to see what people say. We want to see what the store has today. Okay, so those are examples about my health. Those are examples about going to the store, our finances. Now, being kinder to to our body. It's like, what do you need to do today to get a little spark of joy that brings you joy? Whether it's buying a cup of coffee or making it at home. Going to get your nails done. Or not. It doesn't always have to be about beauty. Spending 10 minutes working out. Spending 10 minutes writing in your journal. Spending 10 minutes reading a book. Spending 10 minutes watering your plants and your flowers and your grass. Spending 10 minutes walking in the park. Or by the lake. Or riding your bike. That is what the assignment is going to be for you today. Spend 10 minutes. And give yourself at least 10 minutes, some self-care. Yesterday, we wrote down our affirmations. Today, we are doing something that is intentional and can be consistent. Let's try to establish that, that every Wednesday, and if it's if today's not the day that's going to work out, let's say you pick a day. First of all, pick the day. Today, I want you to do it because today is day 10. But here on out, pick a day. And make sure that you do that for yourself. That you are very intentional and consistent with something that's going to bring you some joy, some peace, and set you up to be prepared to just face everybody. Right? Sometimes one little act of kindness to yourself makes a huge difference. We can't tackle everything at once. This is why uh, in yesterday's video... In day day nine's video, I shared how this is an ongoing journey. This is not going to stop on day 30. We're going to continue and follow the framework and do it and do it and do it again because it's success in the journey. It's first of all, having the awareness and being reflective and then starting again. We never want to get to a place where we are comfortable. We never want to get to a place where we're like, okay, we made it. We're done. No, there's always room for more. There's always space for expansion, space for growth and transformation. Just as you see trends on social media evolving almost daily, just as you see um, clothes, right? The styles, same thing with us. We should always continue to grow and and continue to expand. And I really chose kindness because I, I fully believe that walking in kindness can transform every pillar of our lives because we're being intentional and we're being consistent and we are acknowledging where there is space for growth by being reflective. 
I pray this blessed you. I pray that you are encouraged to keep going. I pray that as you choose the day and how you want to pour into yourself, that you set a timer on your phone to remind you every Wednesday at five o'clock or every Wednesday at seven o'clock in the morning, make sure before the day's over, I do this or I complete this or on my way to work or after work or before bedtime or even waking up 10 minutes early to do it the day in the morning. What is it that you need? It's time you put yourself first and let's, let's stop depending on everybody else. We're pouring into ourselves. We're being kinder to ourselves. We're filling our own buckets. All right. So today's assignment is to do that. And text me. Let me know. Drop in the comments. Text me. Email me. What are you doing for yourself today? What does your self-care look like? And what day are you choosing and what time to do it every week? All right. If not every day, it would be amazing, but something that requires once a week. Okay. So, um, thank you so much. I love you all. I pray that you are all doing amazing and that in the midst of the challenge and the chaos and the testing, you remain firm and being kind, being intentional and consistent, and you, you're committed you are not backing down. You are not going back and reverting to old ways. We are pushing and pressing past those mindset barriers and what has been hindering us for all our lives. All right, everyone. Love you. Talk to you all soon. Happy day 10. And I will see you back tomorrow. Bye.